like most teams looking to rejuvenate their squad and help them perform in the upcoming season, Manchester United are in need for a number nine, a striker that will help lead their lines and lead the United attack. With Anthony Martial being too inconsistent and too injury prone, and his very subpar performance from Was was on loan, you can clearly see that United need a number nine that can take the attack to the next level. Bruno Fernandes was the highest chance creator last season, creating a lot of chances and having a measly eight assists throughout last season in the Premier League. That shows you that United aren't clinical enough to be a top team in Europe. Today, look at the links United have been having with Rasmus Hoyland of Atalanta and we'll see whether this young striker can lead United to be an attacking force in the next decade or so. Eric Ten Hag is looking for a striker that can really offer different aspects offensively that is all round and very very technical. He needs a striker that can hold up the play and lift up the midfielders and other players around him. He needs a striker that can also lead the attack and stretch the position vertically. And he needs a striker that is technically good, has an eye, of, eye for goal and is a literal goal poacher. He needs a striker that can basically do every single aspect of striking all round. And surprisingly, Rasmus Hoyland fits the bill almost perfectly. Although he's still young at 20 years old, the Danish international has showed all these attributes, having good technique, having surprisingly very, very fast amount of speed and acceleration, and having a good upper body strength, which can help him fend off defenders and help aid the hold of play. Rasmus Hoyland seems to be the perfect fit, and I can understand why United are interested in signing the boy and bring him to Old Trafford to lead United into the next line of attack. So, how would Rasmus Hoyland fit in this United team? Firstly, he is just 20 years old and will still need time to develop his game to be an elite tier level striker. But he will come in and slot in immediately as the centre forward in this team. And that alone offers you a lot of advantages. In possession, his adepts are linking the play Although he might be quite indecisive with the ball, sometimes forcing situations, he is quite comfortable when it comes to passing and can use both feet and also tread in through balls. Also like making runs in behind the lines to stretch out the defense and also to create chances for himself, has brilliant ball movements in the box and also is a very good physical and aerial threat. Not only that, but also in counters, he is a blistering fast player. Imagine having the leg of Rashford, Hoyland and Anthony and Bruno Fernandes on the ball, breaking in with a counter-attack. That counter-attack would be very little because those three, with the passing range and passing ability of Bruno Fernandes, offer you dangerous counter-attacking situations that will clearly lead to goal. He is a very incisive and direct runner the physical presence which gives him an advantage and also during his 1v1 deals on the ball he has flicks and tricks that he can use to often beat players and use his pace to aid him to get into the box he is a jack of all trades and i think he might be the next step to completing this everything house project as most well learned, seems to be like the perfect deal or seems to be like the perfect move to make at this time right now. So let me know what you think about the Rasmus Hoyland deal. Should United go through with it or are there better options out there that can lead United's attack? Maybe a Harry Kane, maybe a Lazaro Martinez, maybe a Victor Oshiman. Let me know in the comments below and don't, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video and peace.